Charles Osgood. Shirley MacLaine won an Oscar for her performance in the movie Terms of Endearment. But her first big break years before was as an understudy. This morning, Tracy Smith of The Early Show gives us an overview of some of Broadway's current understudies. You've heard it a million times. The show must go on. And it always does, because someone is waiting in the wings. The understudy, an insurance policy for the stage. That first time, it's very scary. For me, it was very scary. Oh my god, I've never had a rehearsal. I know the lines, I know the songs, but I know nothing of the blocking. You have a second to decide whether you actually know what you're doing, and then you have to spend the rest of the evening saying, you know what, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether I actually know it, I have to do it. Tales about understudies are legendary in show business. The 1950 Oscar-winning film, All About Eve, is the classic. I have no right to be anyone's understudy, much less yours. And I'm sure you underestimate yourself, Eve. You always do. It's You're a right wicked story of the evil understudy who diabolically schemes to set up the star's absence and then goes on herself. As for real life, during the run of 1954's hit show, The Pajama Game, the star did badly sprain her ankle, and a young understudy named Shirley MacLaine went on. A scout for Alfred Hitchcock was in the audience and signed McLean for the movie The Trouble with Harry, which makes McLean the patron saint of understudies everywhere. This was a terrible truth. The truth about Harry. You're looking for new talent and you find someone and you go, oh my God, we have to cast them as the standby or the understudy because they really are a star in the making. Bernard Telsey is one of Broadway's major casting directors. I think if you're young, it's such a great opportunity to grow and learn and to be paid for it. Truth be told, most young actors in New York City are unemployed most of the time. So getting a job as an understudy is a big deal. It's my paycheck. Barrett Foa understudies in the musical Avenue Q, but has to keep up the pace of most young actors still looking for the big break. I don't know where I'm gonna look but I'm gonna find my purpose. There are the voice out. lessons, the meetings with his agent. Oh, 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 you mustn't touch me. <laughs> Why? The auditions. Well, no one's ever touched me. Why? And this year, the Tony Awards. Only for now, life. Only for now, life. Only for His show is nominated. So is the man he understudies. Now, when you pick an outfit, yeah. since you're an understudy, do you have to pick one that doesn't outshine the stars? It has to, it has to outshine the stars even more. <laughs> Obviously, this kid's got energy, enough to do what understudies have to do every day, stay prepared and ready to go on. Tell me about your relationship with the guy that you understudy and that delicate balance that you... You know, you profit at his loss. If he gets sick, you're on. It's true. Um, uh, I love coming into work when he's sick, and it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible to say. Harvey Firestein never missed a performance of Hairspray, but still had two understudies. One of them, Joel Vig, also played six small roles of his own. Talk about having to try to keep things straight. Because backstage is like a continual moving machine that if you get in the wrong place at the wrong time, you're in big trouble. Being in the right place at the right time can make a career. How much pressure was there? Oh, my goodness. You're not going on for another woman. You're going on for another woman whose name is Barbara, Barbara Streisand. Streisand. We can only try. That's right, Lainey Kazan, singer, TV star, and the woman you know Hello. best as the I'm mother of the bride in My Hello. Big Fat Greek Wedding was Streisand's understudy as Barbara shot to stardom in Broadway's Funny Girl. Everywhere I would go for a year, like, people were interested in me, not because I was Lainey Kazan, but because I was Barbara Streisand's understudy. People would say, you know, if you ever go on, call me. Tell me about that moment when they said to you, you're on. They called me up and said, Lainey, Barbara has strep throat, you're on tonight. What happened was that everybody that I invited came, and so did Barbara. 
She walked in the theater at 10 minutes to 8. After I was all dressed, made up, I was devastated, devastated. I went next door to the coffee shop and I cried and she went on that night. She went on that night and the next day, because I had called all these people who were press people. It was headlines all over the newspaper. Show goes on, but Lainey doesn't. It ain't funny, girl. But Lainey did go on the following night. The press returned, and a second star was born. To this day, Lainey insists she really likes Barbara, even though they never got close. Wasn't a little piece of you just praying that she would come down with Oh, of with course. I used flu? to joke with her and say, you know, come over to my house for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> What's the time? Well, it's got to be close to midnight. Jokes aside, leads need the understudies just as much as the understudies need them. Recently, the star of Rent, Melanie Brown, better known as Scary Spice of the Spice Girls, made it to the theater, but felt her throat infection getting really bad. She couldn't go on. I was being silly about it. I could go on and maybe do damage, which would be silly in the long run. Scary's understudy wasn't scared a bit. For about 30 seconds, my heart races. And it's, it's, al it's almost as if my body is getting into, like, show mode. And then it races for, like, about a minute, and then I'm cool. Meow! <laughs> I think being an understudy is one of the toughest jobs, without a doubt. Hugh Jackman, that boy from Oz with awesome reviews, also appreciates his understudy. And I do feel for my understudy uh, very much, you know, because more than anything, it's hard work. We rehearsed for eight weeks. Vocally, there's 20 odd songs a night. There's a lot of dancing and singing. It's unbelievable amounts of work for little to no acclaim. You have the blessing of these producers to step in for this star they believe in you that much but the general public sees you as you know who's this imposter jackman's performance was so important at the box office that when he took a vacation so did his understudy john hill sorry that that one dream did not come true grateful that his worst nightmare didn't either the boos and the hisses that would have happened it's Petra, I had dreams about it, you know, like two people left in the audience. Amy Garcia lived the nightmare when she filled in on Avenue Q. A new person was in, and the audience was not happy at all. They're like, and the role of Jennifer Barnhart would be played by Amy Garcia. Oh, <laughs> it was like, I was so angry. I was like, screw you guys. I'm good. Just Wait a scream. second, the audience yeah, booed you? Yeah, but just because see. you're an understudy? <laughs> A mixtape. <laughs> he made a mixtape. <laughs> Amy won over the audience, as most understudies hope they will, if and when they get their chance. What would you tell the, the audience members who groan when they hear that an understudy is coming? Oh, on? be careful, because you might see magic. <laughs> Next week. We're Broadway bound for a new breed of show where producers want you to come into the theater humming the tune. You are the dancing queen. Broadway bound, sponsored by Chrysler.